Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to another part of our WordPress plugin development series. Today we're gonna to be talking about the part of plugins that will haunt your dreams forever. Uh, no, not necessarily, but it's something that if you don't understand, it will give you a really hard time. And so I just wanted to help out a little bit today by talking about WordPress actions and filters and also hooks. I didn't put that in the title, but I'm gonna explain that. And what I'm gonna to try to do is explain this as clearly as possible because it's a really confusing topic for a lot of people because it seems really confusing, especially certain explanations you're given just don't, you try to do the math in your head and it just doesn't add up. And I wanted to explain it because we're gonna start working on this plugin soon. This, uh, I think we're just gonna, like I said, put out, put some text with it or something like that. I'm not really 100% sure yet exactly what direction I wanna go with it and how complicated I wanna make it. But let's just start right here on actions and filters. And this is my own explanation of this, and uh, hopefully it helps you out a little bit. So let's just start with the picture of a bus station. Once again, you're at the WordPress Intense School of Art, so don't get your hopes too high. All right, so this is your bus station, and WordPress is like a, a town. When the page loads, there are different destinations on the bus route, okay? And riders can get on those buses and they can go to the, any location that they're allowed to go. Like it's a set amount of stops, right? Like in the town, there's a stop at the hospital, there's a stop at the bank, there's a stop at, okay. In WordPress, we have different stops like the, the WordPress head, the WordPress sidebar, the WordPress content, the WordPress footer, et cetera, et cetera. And there's lots of areas you can, you can uh, send to. And imagine that the bus is a hook. Okay, and that's, that's what a WordPress hook is. A hook is kind of what calls in the code or allows, in our example, it's like what allows a rider to get to that location. And we have two kinds of riders in the bus station. We have action riders and we have filter riders. And each of them do something different. So let's say that the bus opened up the station at 5 a.m. and it was gonna send out its first bus of the day. Let's draw a little bus. Yeehaw. Okay. And this bus, let's just draw some go faster stripes. All right, this bus is headed out to the first location. It stops at the bus station and it says, I'm taking all riders who are headed to the WordPress head stop. All right, and at this point, we have two different riders who both put their hands up and say, I'm ready, I'm getting on the bus. We have action riders and filter riders. And here's the difference. Action riders are going one way. They're not coming back. They, they're going one way and they're not coming back to the station. Meaning that we don't expect anything in return from them. They're not gonna return a value necessarily back onto the bus. They may output something on our pages or they may uh, call in code on our pages and modify our pages or do all kinds of stuff. Actions are the essentially being able to just add all kinds of customized code blocks and call in APIs and all kinds of stuff. And those are, the, are, those are the action riders. Then you have the filter riders, and the filter riders go out on the bus, but they're given a special task that they need to do and then come back with a result. So here's a perfect example. In the WP head, this is everything that appears between the head tags in a HTML output. So in the case of our front end of our site here, let me just go on to this local host, SEO local, and if you view the page source, you're gonna see a head tag, an opening head tag, and a closing head tag. So this is where the head hook, or in our example, the bus, drives to this section, and it carries with it any riders who wanna do something in here, who wanna hook into this, and the bus being the hook. So it's allowing those action riders and those filter riders to ride the bus to the head section or that stop in the town and do something here. And the action guys go here and they stay here. They don't ever leave. They, they just do something and put it out right here, but the filter riders, do something here and get back on the bus so and come back to the station to return that result to whoever told them to go to go get it so in this case it'd be like the pages title if you look at this our page title appears SEO starter and if they were a filter writer they would be given a given the page title and whoever was controlling them would say all right here's what you need to do you need to take this title and you need to go out there and you need to modify its size and then you need to come back and bring me that result Okay, and that's what filters do. Filters modify data or modify existing components and then do something with them. And uh, they don't, they're not as wild west as the action writers. The action writers pretty much are limitless. They can do whatever they want. But filters have to uh, 
uh, they have to modify something and bring us back a modification result. And that's the primary difference between them. So you'd have a bus in the morning, just to reiterate, that would stop. And it would ask for riders. And it would say, I'm going to the WP head section of your WordPress site. Who's coming with me? Who needs to go to this stop? And you got two types of people. One is actions and one is filters. The filters guys are going to get back on the bus and come back with a result. The action guys are not. So actions are a one-way ticket and filters are a two-way ticket. And the bus is the hook that carries them to that section. And we have lots of hooks. So in the day, you may have two or three or four or five buses, all right, that carry those riders forward all right and uh and so you'd have more and more and more and more buses each time uh it goes to a new section a bus will show up and it will say uh where i'm headed to the body of the page where the body tags anything that appears in here is anybody come with me and then you'll have those those riders who raise their hand you'll have actions that output actions here and you'll have filters that go in and modify any kind of data and you'll have the same thing with your sidebar, you'll have the same thing with your widget area, you'll have the same thing with your footer, you'll have the same thing with all the areas in your page that can be that can be hooked into, which we're gonna do some uh, hook, hook, hooking into stuff on our own. And that's the primary difference. And that was very confusing to me when I started because I a lot of times these, when they're explained in WordPress, are explained interchangeably, especially in the codex. It'll say, well, use an action here, use a filter here, use this, use this, hook into this. And it's not very clear why they're using this one versus this one or why even what a hook is. And so in this case, we that I think that it, it, this is the clearest example I can give. And it's the one that made me kind of see a little clearer. So that's how it, it calls in the code. And another thing to understand is that who can get on the bus? Well, as far as where they can come from. Well, the first place they can come from is from a file called functions.php. This is in every WordPress installation and functions.php allows you to write in your own custom functions without the use of a plugin or the need for a plugin to add any custom functionality to your WordPress and to hook into the buses that carry to those places. So if you need to add any custom features to the head, you can hook into the head, the bus going to the WP head section. If you need to uh, hook into the footer, you can hook into the footer bus that's headed to the, to the footer and you can hook in any kind of actions or any kind of uh, filters you want to add in real time and then they'll just be called from the functions because that's what the bus station looks for the bus station says okay I'm looking for I'm looking for riders where do the riders all come from they come from the functions.php that's one place they come from and the other place they come from is plugins and that's the other place that it looks for hooked information from our plugins folder and so that's how plugins are able to do all the things you will do like all-in-one SEO pack well how, what do you think it's doing now that you know a little bit better what do you think it's doing it's actually it's sending out uh, riders bus riders action and filter bus riders when the WP head bus shows up it says hmm who's riding and the WP plugins folder says ooh I mean I'm sorry the all-in-one uh, SEO plugin folder says ooh me I have lots of action and filter riders and they all get on the bus and go out and do their thing and the end result is this right here okay and that's really in and through here and all this all-in-one SEO stuff so that's really how it works at its most basic and that's a really basic explanation and breakdown it's a lot easier if you look at it like a bus station that has two kinds of riders action and filter riders actions are a one-way ticket filters are a two-way ticket they all ride the bus that shows up at that time and different riders get on different buses based on what they're instructed to do uh, if they are if your plugin requires something to be edited in the body for example then that's where your actions and filters will get on is when the uh, body bus passes all your people will get on and the way that we can do that is we can instruct it so when we write our PHP functions that do this you can explicitly say I want you to add this function to the WP head or the WP body or the WP footer so the WordPress hook or the bus knows okay these functions are meant to go in here and it's pretty it's actually pretty straightforward there's some there's some confusing parts about it but uh, nothing that's gonna confuse us too much in our example course and I think that's gonna wrap us up for part two here I just wanted to go over this because as we add these in 
I'll try to reiterate it as we go along and add these in and try to say, hey, remember when I talked about actions and filters and remember how I said it'd give you nightmares? Well, it's not going to because I already covered it and just remember it like a bus station and everything will be copacetic and we won't have any problems here. Like, subscribe, comment if this makes sense or if you like this analogy. Uh, I hope it was pretty straightforward. This is about as basic as I can get and I think that's the way to go because any more complicated and this stuff really gets out of hand quick. Uh, I look forward to seeing you guys in part three.